in the last six months at CFS, the company has gained more and more momentum. Six months ago, we were setting up production lines. Now we're running them. Six months ago, we were taking over the Tokamak Hall. Now we're installing various pieces of equipment inside of it. The company has reached a scale and complexity that can really get things done, and get things done quickly. The team has grown. It's now 800 people, making it one of the largest fusion organizations in the world. In the last six months here, we've been ramping up significantly on our TF, or toroidal field, and our PF, our poloidal field manufacturing lines. We're now running at double the rate that we were on both lines and really gaining momentum as we move forward on building the magnets for Spark. For the poloidal field line, we are working on our first production magnet for that right now. And then we also just finished manufacturing our CSMC, which is our central solenoid model coil that we'll use to prove out the technology at scale before we move into production for Spark. In the last six months, the U.S. government fusion program has also gained momentum working with the private sector. Two years ago, the U.S. government announced a bold decadal vision to put a fusion power plant in the United States in the early 2030s. We actually just announced the signing of the key program, something called the Milestone Program, just recently at the White House, where we gathered basically the entire U.S. fusion community and took stock over the last two years. And it's been an amazing amount of, of progress led by companies like CFS, where we're the largest recipient of the Milestone Award, but also by the general redirection of the science and research inside the U.S. fusion program. We're also seeing momentum globally. In fact, the G7, the largest economies of the world, recently agreed that they would work together on a fusion harmonization so that power plants designed and built one place can be built around the world. This momentum in fusion is really important because it's becoming clear that we're at the beginning of a race, a global race to have a fusion economy. Whether that economy is based in the United States or China or Europe is yet to be decided, but will be deeply impactful. So we've also seen a lot more momentum in the power plant. We've been looking for sites for the last about year for ARC, the first ARC, and we anticipate in the next quarter, six months, to have actually announced that. Over the next six months, we should continue to see the momentum in the Spark facility. Big pieces of equipment being installed, the building being fitted out, in the factory, magnets being produced and being shipped here to be put into Spark. And that puts Spark on a continuing trajectory all the way to First Plasma. Outside of Spark, we should see things like customer interest and the announcement of the first site. And that sets the company up for really its next big level up in the future.